everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this Valentine's Day inspired look for you all. I feel like it's really, really soft and feminine and it's just really, really appropriate for Valentine's Day. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so firstly I'm going to prime my face. I'm using MAC Prep and Prime. Only know your lover when you let her go. For foundation today I'm going to be using my Love, which is L'Oreal True Match. And I'm just going to apply that with a stippling brush. Only hate the road when you miss and hold. Only know your lover when you let her go. And you let her go. Okay, now to conceal my dark circles, I'm just going to be using the Cover FX Cream Concealer. Day you'll make a dream last, but dreams come slow and they go so far. Now I'm just going to add a lighter concealer just to highlight my face a little bit. This one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. Day you'll understand why everything you touch. As with any step, this step is also optional. I'm going to be applying a cream highlighter. This one's by Illamasqua and it's a Gleam highlighter in the shade Aurora. I think it's pronounced, I can never say that word. Very quickly, I'm just going to set my face with my Revlon Photo Ready Powder. And then for where I did apply that highlighter, I'm just going to set with this MAC Pro Powder in the shade Emphasize. Staring at the ceiling in the dark, same old empty. Now my contour brush and my MAC Sculpt powder, I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. Well you see you when you fall asleep, but never to touch and never to keep cause you loved it too much. So I'm going to go onto my eyebrows. I'm going to be using two eyebrow powders. The Illamasqua Brow Cakes in Motto and Thunder with an angled eyeliner brush. Finally for the eyes. Okay, I'm going to start off with this CoverGirl Intense Shadow Blast thing. This is in the shade 815. It's the brown colored one. It's like an eyeshadow primer and liquid eyeshadow in one. I think they're really, really cool and I think they're so underrated. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. Well, not all over my eyelid, just on the, like, just to the crease. Okay, so we can finally start putting on some eyeshadows. I'm going to start off by taking the shade Limit, which is just a pinky color. It's a matte pink, this one here. And I'm just going to put that into my crease with a fluffy brush. Obviously, you can use any eye base that you want. I've just chosen to use that CoverGirl one because I really, really like it. Now, with that said, you don't need to use the Naked 3 palette. You can use any palette that you own. So I'm quite happy with that intensity. So I'm just going to blend that out with a different brush. On that same clean blending brush, I'm just going to take Strange, which is the matte highlight color from the palette. This one on the end here. And I'm just going to put that underneath my brow bone. Okay, so I'm just going to take the shade Liar and I'm just going to put that over the middle section of my lid, which is just this shade here. And now I'm just going to take the shade Factory, which is this one right here, the one next to it, and I'm just going to put that on the outer portion. Flipping that brush over, I'm going to be using the shade Burnout, which is this one here, the third color on the palette. And I'm just going to put that on the inner part. Now on that first brush that we used to blend in that limit shade, I'm just going to blend everything out. Not adding any more product, just really distributing everything. Now I'm going to take Nuna, which is the darker matte pink. Well, I wouldn't really call it a pink, but you know what I mean. This shade here, and I'm just going to put that along my lower lash line. Okay, I think that's enough for the eyes. If it's not as intense as I would like it to be, then I'll go in with more shades afterwards. But right now, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. Only know your lover when you let her go. Okay, so I just curled my eyelashes really, really quickly. Eyelash time, so mascara time, I should say. I'm just going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. One looks like this. I, I guess it's okay. 
I'm just going to put a really, really light coat on my upper lashes. Let it go. Okay, so for false lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Wispy Lashes. And I'm just going to be applying those with Duo Lash Glue. But dreams come slow and they go so far. Now for lipsticks, you can honestly choose whatever you want. I'm personally going to go for Maybelline Color Whisper, only because I don't want anything too pigmented, because it's Valentine's Day, and you might be kissing your girlfriend or boyfriend, so you don't want lipstick all over them. So, yeah. I'm going to opt for a Maybelline Color Whisper. You can use any lip color that you find appropriate, but I'm just going to be using this one. This one is in Pink Possibilities, I do believe. Yeah, Pink Possibilities. And it's just a nice sheer but still has a nice tint pink and I really really like it okay so I'm just gonna be using Hoola by Benefit to bronze up my face packaging just looks like this and the powder just looks like this if you haven't heard of Hoola I have no idea where you have been my dear but yeah so I'm just gonna put this wherever I would normally bronze my face if you don't normally bronze then you can miss this step and just do whatever you'd normally do and it goes so far I'm just going to apply a little bit of highlighter. This is the Stila Kitten highlighter. And I'm just going to mix both the shades together. And I'm just going to dust that over the tops of my cheekbones. What do you guys think of the finished look? Do you like it? I quite like it. I think it's really, really glamorous and soft and nice for Valentine's Day. Okay, everyone. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you next time. Bye.